Nurse TV, brought to you by Hester. It's the Royal College of Nursing Australia's Careers, Education and Employment Expo. The college started them about eight years ago in Melbourne to address the nursing shortage. We've just got about everybody here today. We have uh, the universities from Victoria, we have some TAFEs here, we've got the Department of Human Services, the Royal College of Nursing Australia, most of the public hospitals here in Melbourne and private institutions. We have aged care facilities here as well. We've even got uh, international recruitment agencies and that's really good because a lot of nurses want to travel overseas. So it's allowing them to see where their career can take them and they may go on a three month working holiday and then come back. Well, we also have interstate organisations interested in nurses maybe going to their state, but that's okay because Melbourne come to the other expos in other states too. So they get it back as well. So it's just a full range of people here, anyone that offers a nursing service is here. We're here actually promoting Melbourne Health. So Melbourne Health is um, one of Victoria's second largest um, health services. What we're trying to do is to promote ourselves as a service and to show people that we are a large organisation, you know, in, 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 in excess of 1,200 beds and um, sort of 600 staff uh, across the organisations. We're promoting a fairly big health service. Melbourne Health, along with a, a number of health organisations, are going through um, a, a nursing shortage, and this is a worldwide shortage. Yeah. And this is a very important days. It's very new times for nursing to be involved in lots of um, marketing and PR for our programs. It's very important that we actually um, contact nurses face face to face. We need to attract them in. We need to do all that marketing, and we need to prove to them that you know that um, that we're the place to be. In these different ways that we're we're, we're trying to do that, but. We're trying to be honest and we're trying to be transparent with what we're doing and I think that's what Melbourne Health's about, it's about being honest and telling you really what you're going to get. So we're here, we have our show bags, we have um, lots of information for them about the program, about the hospitals and what they can expect when they get there. We have some freebies, we have a yo-yo, we have lip balm, we have some chubba chubs and minties for them to take home with them. The other main focus that we're here for also is to promote our postgraduate courses. We offer a lot of options for nurses who have been working in the workforce for a number of years and are looking at postgraduate courses. Um, we have information on our stands here for our postgraduate courses, but our stand behind us, we have very strong affiliations with the University of Melbourne and the stand behind us is actually promoting all of our academic courses that we offer at the hospital. So we offer courses in intensive care, emergency nursing, operating suite, um, renal nursing, oncology, coronary care, a huge range of um, postgraduate opportunities for um, staff at the, at the Royal Melbourne. We're aiming this at school students, so we very much target the secondary schools and at nurses already in the industry looking at further career advancement or education, also the assistants in nursing that may like to come on and take a long formalised uh, nursing career path as well. Some people have a bit of an outdated view of, of nursing and there's now over 90 specialty groups within nursing and today is just a wonderful celebration of nursing and it allows everybody to look at the wide variety and see where their career can take them. Your referees from the university. So we're here representing the Royal Children's Hospital as part of the Women's and Children's Healthcare Network, the Royal Women's Hospital is over here, but basically my role is to support the graduate nurses undertaking their graduate nurse program or their intern year. So we have a store here, um, an information store, where you're yakking to third year nurses and second year nurses and people who are interested in nursing, specifically paediatric nursing. So we are here, as we have been every year, to promote the program and to promote the hospital, but there's also implications for recruitment and retention. So by exposing the Royal Children's Hospital to the public and specifically third year nurses, people might walk past today that hadn't considered paediatric nursing as an option and so we might be able to sway them, might be able to influence them. Uh, there are a lot of nurses who are coming past who are interested in paediatric nursing, that's why they got into nursing in the first place. We also might get to meet nurses who are in their second year or their first year or high school nurses or just people interested who don't know what nursing's about who, who perhaps might like to get a little bit of information. So primarily we're here to get nurses into the graduate nurse program. Today's 
gone over all expectations. We've had approximately 8,000 visitors through today and we still have an hour and a half to go with the expo. It's wonderful. It's a real celebration of nursing and everyone here is just so proud to be a nurse and talk about their profession and encourage people to come into the profession and also nurses that have left and thought, gee, it's changed, I might like to come back now, do a refresher course, get back in. It's just a wonderful day of celebration and as you can see, everyone's just so happy and the general public love it and they pass it on to their colleagues and friends and they think about a career in nursing, it's wonderful.